Good morning, train team. Here we are in a, a very nice place, lovely place called Spill. And customers complaining of Blockley, which is every time they run the uh, taps in the kitchen, it floods across the front door. So, just have a little look around here. The gully. A couple of manholes. Um, I'll lift. I'll lift them and have a look. Got an access, small access chamber here. Oh yeah, and we've got a gully here, which is uh, full, and obviously by the look of the surrounding area is uh, overflowing and then when we we follow that trail what do we have here we have a, another access chamber which is obviously um, foul sewage so what I think I'll do is start by lifting that and seeing what's going on there yeah so second thoughts before I, I take that side up I think I'll just have a little look around in these two one it's the one that easier to to get to but obviously it's further downstream so let's lift this one up first Oh yeah, okay. Whew. So that one's full. Let's have a look at this one. That one's empty. Uh, so that one must be your rainwater. I'll just show you in here. So that's full, yeah. So if we go up to this one and uh, this one basically I think goes without saying that it's going to be which it is. So. It's quite stubborn. Hopefully it will be uh, relatively straightforward, clear this and uh, have a little bit of a clean up on the other one.
you can get this in today. Outlet. Good job I, I put the put the glove in there because it's actually going in, in a different direction than I thought it was. See that's just a gully to there. Let's get that out. So, so if that's a gully, and that, yeah, it is. Uh, it's it's not a rainwater gully. Uh, okay, let's keep going. So that was there. Blank. Nothing untoward so far, no, no evidence of uh, wet wipes here, so Get me looking to put the jet on, I don't know when exactly I could put the jet in and Cover the top over in case of a blowback, but let's persevere down the other end. <coughs> Got plenty of uh, fuel today, and uh, so we've got the water being replenished as we're using it. So that's okay.
Okay. Is that a piece of sweet corn? If it is, things are locking up. You've got to take, take your hat off to anyone that works on the sewers because, to be quite honest, without um, this, uh, the sanitary systems working, uh, civilization would quickly grind to a halt. Uh, we'd go back to the days of cholera, um, the plague, all that kind of stuff, because people wouldn't be able to keep clean. Uh, the you know water supplies would be um, affected. You know um, uh, sewage being put into rivers and all that kind of stuff. So. It's, it really is an essential uh, job and to all you guys who, who work on drains, stay safe, uh, I know some of my videos are, I'm, uh, I'm on the cusp of, uh, well, sometimes uh, you have to do what you do, uh, but generally uh, it's a, it's a it's a job that comes with its risks then um, you know uh, that wheels disease uh, which is spread from uh, rat rat uh, urine uh, it can be lethal uh, you know can it can be life-changing even if you survive it uh, so yeah there you are a salute to all you drain guys and women, of course. Genetic term now, isn't it, guys? So, this is I'm up against some proper resistance there. There's, I think there's like a plug in there. I'm just, just easing jet up and down next to it the head of the uh, the nozzle is it's a worm nozzle and it's uh, it's obviously gone through it and I'm as I'm as I'm pulling the jetter back not just the resistance of the water coming out of the the nozzle but I can actually feel them I'm pulling against an object I'm glad I'm replenishing the water because I'm using quite a bit up here. Right, so put the chatter in the other end. That's it. Get my hand in there and uh, find find an opening. Uh, let's have a look what's happening. That's that's obviously gone down the the gully entrance. Let's turn that off. Oh, don't want that overflowing. Okay, sure. Let's get that. That way was going into that gully. And we got this one here. It's going off. That way. So, let's have a look what happens now. Got some resistance there. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, 
Thankfully. Now let's have a look in this hole. But that's still blocked. That's still blocked. So that one's clear. That's blocked. There's another little access chamber there. So I'll, I'll get to grips on lifting that up. Okay guys, I uh, I got this, uh, <coughs> managed to get these screws out in the end, bloody nuisance they are. What I'll do with these, is I'll spray a little bit of uh, silicon on them, before I put them back on. Okay, so, another dark hole. There's a outlet running that way. And there's one running that way which will be for the gully there. Just on the on the corner. Uh, there is evidence of sewage in here. You can see that. So Let's get the uh, plunger on it. Eh? Okay. Alright, so give it a blast with the jetter. Turn it back on. Okay, got the jetter in. Let's see what happens here. happening around here could potentially have uh, <clears throat> a pile of roots in there that's where the, where the issue is here I 
is starting to draw. No mate. Starting to draw. Oh my god, look at all the smudge in there. So much soil in there. Why is that all that in there? I'll tell you why. <coughs> I'll tell you why. Because when uh, they're doing driveways and stuff, they put this uh, put this silica sand in the blocks. And over the years, when the uh, all the blocks are cleaned, the sand ends up going down into the drain. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna flush that down the drain. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna scoop all that out. Uh, now we've cleared it. The last thing I want to do is, is bung it back up again. Put a bit more hose in there, go a bit further down. So I've got 15 metres on this uh, on this little hose here, so see it's probably about two two and a half metres here. So from from here to the road, from going that way, I'd say it's about 10 metres. So so I think we're we're kind of at the boundary as we speak. Now, if the customer has any more problems, potentially, I think it needs to have uh, a camera put in. And it might be an idea to, to suggest the camera survey anyway.
Okay, I'm just gonna <coughs> peri periodically uh, just clean because I've got the hose fully unraveled. I'm gonna give it a, a quick disinfectant. Try and keep. I mean, it's difficult because you you put the stuff down the drains all the time, but ideally, what you want to be able to do is uh, is give it a bit of a clean up from time to time. Kill any, well, try and kill any, you know, potential bugs and uh, infections that you might pick up from using the equipment. All these working perfect now. <clears throat> If I come back here, or if someone else comes back here, you know, the nice thing to do is, is keep these screws moving freely, so if I've got some on the van, you know, if I've got like uh, a bit of oil or silicon or something, I'll we'll always uh, just put a bit of lubricant around them, so just makes it easy to get them out again. And don't put them in too tight. Why tighten them up so you know so that you you kind of you think there's going to be some kind of nuclear explosion in there. As long as it's it's secured and doesn't rattle, that's good enough. days let's get out of here